Welcome to Electron Online, and now that we have the general solution to the differential equation representing simple harmonic motion with damping, let's go look at the three different cases that can come out of that solution. Now, just so we have this in, in the reference, here was the differential equation, and here's the solutions. Keeping in mind that B is the uh, constant that uh, is relative to the amount of damping. The bigger B, the more damping you have. M is the mass of the object, and K is the spring constant. So we have three possible cases. So in case one, b is going to be, or b squared is going to be greater than 4mk. And of course, look at underneath the radical. In case that b squared is greater minus than 4mk, then b squared minus 4mk is a positive value. The second case is where b squared is equal to 4mk. And finally, the third case, case 3, is where b squared is less than 4mk. So let's take a look and see what would happen in each of those cases. So if b squared is greater than 4mk, then this would be a real quantity, that would be a real quantity, and you have two real roots. So that, make, that makes two real and distinct roots. That would be the case where b is very large. And that would be a case then that B would uh, represent an overdamping of the system. So this would result in what we would call overdamping. In other words, if the mass is displaced from its equilibrium point, B would be so large that it would have a hard time getting back to the equilibrium point. The second case where B squared is equal to 4MK, that would be what we call critical damping. And what happens then, of course, is that we have um, this and this goes to zero, so we have e to the minus b over 2m and e to the minus b over 10 simply added together. That would simply be c1 plus c2 times e to the minus b over 2m. It would be an exponential, de exponential decaying system, and it would decay just right. So in other words, if you displace it, it would go back to the equilibrium point and not overshoot. If you displace the other direction, it would go back to the equilibrium point and not overshoot. So that's what we call critical damping. It has one real double root. And that would be called critical damping. And finally, the third solution, which is actually the more interesting solution. What happens there is when b squared is less than 4mk, then what happens here is that this becomes an imaginary solution, and that becomes an imaginary solution. So we have an e to the minus real number. So we have a case where we have an e to the minus real number plus an imaginary number. So let's call it. Uh, R1 and I R2, just to put some things in there. But notice that we have an imaginary solution, and we have two of them, two imaginary roots, which would then result in an exponential equation multiplied times an oscillatory equation. With other words, we'll get a sine and a cosine function out of that. With other words, it will begin to oscillate. What that means is that this, this uh, what we call damping effect is so small that when you displace it from an equilibrium, it will try to go back to the equilibrium point, but since it has so much mass and velocity and, and the k constant is so large in, in comparison to b, they'll simply overshoot the equilibrium point and just go back and forth and then slowly decay over time and come to zero. So that would be what we call an underdamped case. So what we're going to do now in the next video is we're going to take each of these three cases one at a time and go through the details of how to look at that and how to interpret that solution. And then we'll show you some examples of actually use that information on how to figure out what the real damping exper experience will be for various masses with various spring constants and various, of course, B, um, what we call damping factors. Uh, that would then, of course, influence the oscillatory motion. So anyway, we have three cases to look at first, and then we'll show you some examples of how to manipulate and how to calculate the frequency and the displacement and so forth over time for various situations.